Hi, my name is Mark and in this video I'm going to talk about this, the Edelkron Wing. It's a manual camera slider that has some advantages over a traditional slider. Let's find out if the wing is the right fit for your needs. Okay, first let's get some technical stuff out of the way. The wing comes in two versions. The smaller version is simply called Wing and the bigger version is called Wing Pro. They differ in weight capacity and size, but in this video I will concentrate on the smaller wing. The first thing you'll notice about the wing is the design. It is a manual slider that is pretty small and compact when packaged, but the construction enables you to get a camera travel of up to four times the package length of the wing, which equals around 40 centimeters or 16 inches. And this is one of the things I love about the slider. It does not take up much space in your camera bag, but enables you to do relatively long slides. So the size is definitely a plus in portability. But with the different design, there also come some issues. My absolute least favorite part about it is that you always need a tripod or some other base to operate the wing. You cannot just put it on the ground like most sliders and operate from there because of the way it is built. Edelkron offers a kind of camera stand called the Stand 1 that might be able to solve that problem, but I didn't have a chance to test that yet. Another issue that is caused by the design is that it is difficult to get the full advertised travel length out of the slider. I can't really explain the physics behind it, but the camera motion gets slower the further you get away from the center of the slider. So the usable smooth motion of the slide is a little bit shorter unless you use your second hand to get the full range of motion. At first this sounds like a bad thing, but I actually found that this adds a little ease in and ease out motion at the end and the beginning of slides, which makes the whole motion seem more fluid. And I actually prefer that behavior over a traditional slider. Paired with the really nice stepless friction adjustment at the bottom, you can get very smooth shots. And the design of the wing also enables you to set it up in different ways that are difficult or even impossible with other sliders. Of course, you can do the standard left to right slide, but you can also slide it forwards and backwards like a dolly without worrying about rails appearing in the shot or you could set up an ascending or descending motion in various ways. So the wing can actually double as a mini jib. Next up, let's talk about build quality. It has an all metal body, so it feels very sturdy and I'm confident that it will last me a long time. But it comes at the cost of added weight. This unit is heavier than it looks. Nearly 1.5 kilograms or 3.3 pounds. That said, I would rather take this with me on a hike or a mountain bike ride than a slider with rails or no slider at all. So I guess I can accept the weight. An added advantage of the rocket build is the load capacity. This little fella can carry up to 7.2 kilograms or 16 pounds. That means you can even throw a Sony FS7 or a Canon C500 on there and still have some headroom. But although the unit is built like a tank, it is not perfect. One thing I heard many people complain about is the locking mechanism. While being very useful, it is just a plastic pin and it seems to tend to break. Also, in my first wing a liquid started leaking out after a few days. Apparently it came from the friction adjustment mechanism and Edelkron confirmed that there was such a problem in older units. The replacement they sent me works fine, I just bring it up in case you want to buy a used wing from eBay or some other marketplace. So considering all that I said. Is the Edelkron wing worth its rather steep price of $400? I would give it a careful yes. It is well built, the size to slide ratio is very good, it carries very heavy and very light cameras and it is pretty easy to achieve smooth motion. My biggest complaint is about weight, but many traditional sliders are just as heavy while being less portable. I guess that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, give it a like and if not, let me know in the comments below. If you are interested in more tutorials and reviews, check out my channel where you can become a better filmmaker with every video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.